Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I had a request from uh, Miss Muriel, uh, Miss Cooper's Coop, for a tutorial on how I make my um, Christmas mittens. So I thought I would put one together and share the details with you. Um, so you're gonna wanna get a small mitten. These are a child size mitten. These are from the dollar store. Um, the colors that they have this year that I've seen are this red color, um, this charcoal gray, and two different blues. One like a true blue and the other one is like a turquoisey mint green type of a blue. Um, so you're going to want to grab yourself some mittens. You're going to want to get yourself some cotton batting, um, which is like this. Um, if you don't want to buy a whole bag of batting, you can just get like a cheap, inexpensive pillow at Walmart. Um, even just like the little eight by eight pillows that they have for just a dollar or something um, has loads of batting inside of it. So if you don't want to buy a great big bag of it, you can just buy a little one, a little pillow. Um, you'll also want to have some uh, tag or some sort of a, a place that you can put a sentiment. Um, you can use like little paper tags um, I've used in the past like this. <clears throat> and then I'll stamp a sentiment on it. Um, this time, I think I'm gonna use one of these little tags that I got from Jill Norwood. Um, they're made out of wood and have uh, a sentiment um, burned into them, laser cut into them. So I think I'm gonna use one of those. Um, you could also use something like these um, little wooden Merry Christmases. Um, you can also get um, plastic glittered ones from the dollar store. Um, so just anything that has a little sentiment on it. Um, I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner that I've tea dyed. Um, to make it look kind of rustic, <clears throat> but you could use, you know, any type of candy cane that you might have on hand. Even one of the dollar store uh, plastic candy canes would be fine. You could wrap it in fabric if you want it to look a little more rustic, um, or you could leave it red and white just as it comes. Um, I might also use one of these little gingers I picked up um, recently at the dollar store. Uh, you might want to use like a little ornament or something as a filler, and then you're going to want to have various different types of greenery. So I like to include different varieties. Um, here's one that is a little spiky and out of control and has a little pine cone on it. And then here's some that are a little more organized and lightweight. Um, you also might want some berries. So here's a style that I really like to use. It's a little primitive um, pit berry style with pine cones. You could use something that has a little more glitz and glamour, something that's sparkly. Um, you can use red berries, you could use white berries, colored berries, it doesn't really matter, just whatever color style you're going for. Um, and then you might wanna have something else to embellish with as well. Um, you could use little holly, you could die cut felt holly. Um, you could uh, just use ribbon and tie it in a bow. You can use little jingle bells. Um, I've pulled out one of these little rusty ones. Um, that I picked up last year at Hobby Lobby um, after Christmas. So this was like 69 cents <laughs> on clearance. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and just get started. Um, so you can see that the, uh, the contents of what you use to fill your mitten is really up to you. There's so many different options available. Um, so you can really kind of make it your own style. You could do a shabby chic type one. Um, if you did like, like a whites and golds and silvers, uh, you could do pinks, you could do traditional like I'm going to do. There's just so many different options. So I think I'm going to make one of the gray ones. I've made red before. Um, I think, uh, I'll do one of the gray ones. The gray is a new color this year. I really like, uh, when they have black mittens available, um, but I haven't seen any black ones yet this year. So I'm just gonna take my mitten and I'm gonna put a little bit of stuffing down inside there. Um, I also have my hot glue gun plugged in and it's hot and ready to go. Um, I just like putting a little bit of stuffing in the mitten just to give it a little bit of uh, body. Doesn't take much. I think these turn out so cute. And be sure to stuff it down in the thumb as well. Pull a little bit more. You don't want it to be too. You don't want it to be too bulky because you want to be able to stick your stems down in here, um, and they'll take up a little bit of room as well. Um, but you do want a little bit of uh, body there. <clears throat> and then you just need to decide which way you want your mitten to face. Do you want the thumb facing to the right or to the left? And I'm gonna make this one go to the left. 
Um, so then you just start sticking in um, your various different greeneries. So I'm gonna start with this one. I like starting um, with one that's like a little more um, rigid. And I think I'm gonna put a little more stuffing in there. So once you've got it in place, um, go ahead and add just a little bit of glue down in there to keep that um, stem in place. And you're gonna be adding more items as well. So as you add each um, additional item, you can add more glue as well. Just kind of poke it in there, make sure it's in nice and tight. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that you can do is you can actually add um, a little bit of glue inside your mitten if you want to give it a little bit of a shape. Um, you can, um, you know, glue the, the mitten together like this and that gives it like a, just a little bit of a shape to it. Um, I think I'll leave this one just the way it is, um, but it's cute either way. Um, so if you want to, you know, have it like this, just drop some glue in down in the inside there and then hold it the way that you like the shape of the mitten and then that'll, that glue will um, keep, in, keep it in place. So I'm gonna keep adding um, greenery here. I'm gonna pull some off of this other um, bow that I have. Um, this one just has like a variety. Um, and this uh, particular branch I bought last year on clearance after Christmas at Michael's for 80% off, I think. So it was like, I don't know, 49 cents or something goofy. So it's just nice to pick up these things um, after Christmas because it's not like, you know, they go bad. So, <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that one down inside there. Um, sometimes I put the glue down inside the mitten, and you need to be careful if you're using hot glue. This can get really hot. Uh, sometimes I put the glue down inside the mitten and add the branches. Sometimes I put the glue on the branches themselves and then poke them down inside there. So just depends on your preference. So I'll show you that other option. So you could add the glue to the branch here like that. and poke it down inside there. And then just keep adding some variety. I think variety is the spice of life. I'm gonna have to find another glue stick here in a moment. <clears throat> That's cute. I think I need a little bit more. Oops, I knocked my little stash down. I'm gonna add some glue to this one here. I need to get down there and pick up my stuff that fell over because now Oliver thinks it's for him. Oliver, leave that. Play with your toys. All right, so that's cute. <clears throat> this greenery generally just pulls right off of the uh, stems. So you don't really have to have any cutters or anything like that. So I like that one there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Poke it down inside there. Okay. So I think I need to add some little brightness. Um, to this little mitten. You could stick uh, like little snowflakes down in here. I think I'm gonna use these little frosted branches that I got. Um, I'm just gonna pull this off here. The price tag, there we go. I think 
that'll be really cute behind there. So I'm actually going to um, uh, look for my wire cutters. I'm going to use this whole piece here. You could just cut, you know, one or two of these off if you're not into having such a great big piece. But I'm going to um, snug this one down inside there pretty good. And this will give my mitten um, a little bit of stability down through the body of the mitten as well. There, that's really cute. So I love that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down there so it holds in place. Nice thing about these mittens is they're very forgiving. So I think, I think I'm going to add this little piece here. It's kind of a different little greenery and I like the feathery look of it. So there's not really any rhyme or reason to how you do this. You just kind of stick things in how you like to see them. And again, just be careful you are, you are using hot glue. All right, I think the uh, Merry Christmas is too big for the mitten. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use this one here. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I need to add some candy cane red. I'm going to cut this um, pipe cleaner in half. And then I'm going to go ahead and shape them with my fingers here into a candy cane. shape. Oh, that's cute. And one at a time, stick them down into my mitten. Just by adding a little glue. You can get um, like little finger protectors um, that are made out of silicone when you're using hot glue. And I do have some. So when I get a little more serious about crafting for Christmas, I'll probably pull those out. But I think for one project tonight, this will be fine. So there's two little candy canes in there. That's adorable. I'm gonna use one of these little gingers um, and I'm going to tea dye him uh, with some Distress Ink. Let's see if I can find my brown inks. All right, I'm going to use this um, Impression Obsession ink. Um, and the color is called Sienna. And I'm going to use this little brush here to just add a little ginger to my ginger. <laughs> Cute, right? Super easy to do. No need to paint. No need to get too carried away. I'm going to do both sides in case you can see the back side of him from um, the other side of the tree that he might be hanging on. See, that's real easy. Um, I think I'm going to tuck him right inside here. Just like that. And now I think I'm going to add a little bit of uh, ribbon. Um, maybe some lace ribbon here. Where did it go? I'm constantly losing everything. Here it is. So I'm going to add some of this little ribbon from the dollar store. I think that'll be really cute around um, 
around the mitten here. And I'm gonna um, put the, my seam up here in the front where I know I'm gonna be able to cover it with a bow so that as you look around the back side of the mitten, you don't actually see any seams. So I'm just gonna measure that around here and give that a quick little snip. And then I can kind of glue that in place. And this isn't going to get a lot of um, heavy use, so you don't have to glue it all the way around. Just a little bit in the front here is fine. And the back side there will hold itself in place once we get the little hanger on. So that's cute. And then I'm going to use... Uh, some of this red uh, ribbon and it has like a little um, stitching along the side here. I thought that was real cute. I'm just gonna, let's see. Uh, I think I might add a little strip of this as well. Be cute to have a doubled up little ribbon. This one's looking a little frayed, so I'm going to snip that one off. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here on the front side. You can use any trims around the, the top here. Um, any ribbons, any laces, all of it looks really cute. So there's that. I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. Cute. And then I'm going to make a bow out of the same ribbon, and that way I can adhere it to the front there. And I don't have to struggle by tying that piece um, that I've just adhered to the mitten. I don't have to struggle by tying it into a bow. I can just um, tie one, make it all nice and neat, and adhere it to the mitten. Okay. Give those a couple of snips. So see what I mean? You can just hide your seams there. I love that. But first I'm going to add uh, one of these little pieces of holly. Um, these are just little inexpensive um, craft decor items. You've probably seen these at the store. I think these ones are probably from Hobby Lobby, but you can probably find them at Joanne or pretty much anywhere. Um, I'm going to see if I can leave that stem on there and just kind of hide it. Oh yeah, I think that'll be fine. You can snip it off, um, but it, I don't know, maybe I will cut it off just a little bit. I, I like to um, leave a little bit in place there so it doesn't fall apart on me. That will be cute. So I'm just going to add a bit of glue to the back side here. Probably a little much, but hey. And then I'm going to add uh, my bow, and I'm going to do the same thing just by adding a little bit of glue to the back side, um, just where I know it's going to make some contact with the mitten. Set that in place. And I've got this bell here, but I think it's a little on the large side. So let me pull out some silver bells that are a little smaller. I've got that one. I like them. I like this larger one. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to adhere this um, with some of my favorite twine. This is um, hemp cording that I get at uh, Walmart in the beading section, and um, it's just a really nice chocolate brown color, and it is hemp cord, um, so it's uh, really, really nice to use. I keep it in this glass jar that I have punched a hole in the lid and then I can just pull the extra one piece of twine out the lid and it stays nice and clean and tidy and I don't have to worry about the ball rolling around my desk. <laughs> so I'm just going to 
add a bow to the top of this bell and adhere the bell in place on top of that bow. And it has a little bit of a memory to it, so you can kind of shape it a little bit, kind of like a wire, but it's not it's not made out of metal. You can you can play with the ends, make them curve the way you like. So I love using this twine; it's my favorite. And then I'm gonna adhere that right in place, but I don't want the um, glue to make my bell clapper um, inside get stuck. So I'm actually gonna turn my mitten upside down, add the glue here, and then turn the mitten upside down and press the bell into it so that the clapper in the bell stays at the bottom of the bell and doesn't get stuck up in here um, in the loop. So I'm gonna figure out where I want my bell. I'm gonna put it up here. So I'm gonna add a bit of glue. I'm gonna turn the mitten upside down and press the bell into that glue. That's gonna keep that bell clapper at the bottom of the bell instead of letting it getting, um, getting stuck in the glue. And then you just have to wait for it to dry. And then where'd my little tag go? This is cute. Thank you, Jill, for these cute little tags. like that. And then I'm just going to, um, using another little piece of twine, I am going to adhere that in place on the mitten. I probably should have put this in place before I put the bell on and the bow actually, but Hey, what am I? I'm an amateur. So I'm gonna snip, I'm gonna slip that back inside there. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here, and then I can press that ribbon um, so it holds that um, twine in place. Try and get all the little ribbon glues. So there's that. This is Merry Christmas really cute. There's the top. I think I'm going to um, add a little bit more color in here. So I'm going to tuck one of these little silver um, star ornaments. These were from Target a couple years ago. They're really cute. And uh, I like that you can tuck the ornament top down inside um, like this. And then you just see the star. You don't actually see the little cap. Um, but you know, it's okay if you do. So I'm going to add that down inside there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. And tuck that right down inside here. I'm going to add uh, another silver one as well that doesn't have any glitter on it. Um, back here towards the back. I'm just gonna add a little glue and stick that down inside there. Cute, love that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add the hanger to the back. We're almost done. Um, so what I'm, I like to do is I like to use the same hemp cord here and um, I'm gonna get a nice length of it. So about 18 inches of it, actually. Um, you can either use um, at the end here where you would, um, the two ends would come together. You can just tie it um, if you'd like. You can add a button, you could add a jingle bell. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, make the looped end the top of my hanger and where the two ends come together is the part I'm going to adhere to the back of the mitten. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a button. If I get that piece of glue off my finger. So I'm gonna use a um, cute little button here from my dish. 
looks like I've got this pretty little shell button. So I'm just going to poke the twine through one of the holes. Um, a four hole button works great too, because you can cross this, the uh, twine, make it like an X. But if you just have a two hole button, just go ahead and put both um, pieces through the holes like that. And you can make these look all cute. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip your mitten over, straighten that all out nice and tight. So you're going to flip your mitten over. And what I like to do is try kind of like hold the mitten up and try and figure out where a good center of um, center point would be where it's the, the mitten's going to hang the way I like it and um, try and figure out where um, on the back of the mitten I need to put my button. So I'm going to go ahead and put my button right here and I'm going to glue that down in place. And that way I know when my mitten hangs, it's gonna hang straight. If I was to put my mitten or the button back over here, it would hang really crooked. So just you have just have to you just have to decide um, how you want your mitten to hang and then adhere the button in place in that spot. Just going to add a bit of glue and press the button in place. And let that dry. So there, the back side of your mitten is all super cute as well. You can add a little tag here that says handmade by you. Um, I'll probably do that. Here's one I have that says um, uniquely handmade limited edition. So I'll probably sign my name on here. Let's see, Heart Anna 2021. And you can add that actually as well. Um, I'm gonna add that before this glue completely dries. I have a tendency to get ahead of myself and stick things down before I'm ready. So, so I tend to like leaving this longer um, strand here, but you can cut it off if you'd like, if you don't like it. And that's it. That's um, how I make my mitten ornaments. Um, you can also give it a quick spray, which I think I'll do. I'm going to pull out my um, little <laughs> crafty cleanup cloth that I got from Miss Marilyn G um, and give this a quick spray with some glitter dust. And if I can find it, here it is, it tipped over. You can tell my the way I can't find anything, my desk is a mess. So I'm just going to uh, give this a quick spritz. There. And that is going to do it. And I think it's adorable. So getting another quick look here. There's the frosty stems I think are so fun. I might actually go pick up some more of those. I love how they look. The little candy canes that I made here out of that um, chenille stem, really cute. That little Dollar Tree gingerbread man. He looks real cute in there. Little silver stars and a pine cone. And then the little Merry Christmas tag. And you can use any tag. They have some tags at Walmart that are in the little miniature tree ornament area. They would be really cute. They ha have like a farmhouse look to them. They would be really cute. I love the way that this holly looks and the bell and this pretty ribbon from Joann's. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you uh, try making some of your own mittens. It's one of my favorite crafts to make at Christmas time. And um, I tend to make them every year. So I also am going to be making some stockings as well. So I picked up these stockings um, yesterday and I'm gonna be following the same process. They will take a bit more um, uh, filler to, to uh, you know, bulk them up because they're just slightly larger, but it's the same process. So hope this was helpful. Miss Muriel, thank you so much for the request. I can't wait to see your beautiful stockings and mittens. So thank you so much everyone for watching and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.